think about Māori here in New Zealand and their health status, um, it's pretty sad. Māori are dying younger and we suffer from more diseases. So there's a real need to improve Māori health in New Zealand. So one way that all doctors can form a relationship with te ao Māori is to learn the language. And hopefully through that learning of the language, they can have better health outcomes for Māori people. <laughs> the reason I decided to begin learning te reo it back a while actually. I served a mission in the Philippines for a couple of years and while I was there, I learnt the Filipino language. Upon coming home, I started to take more notice of my own culture. And then the thought hit me that I know the language of the Philippines and I don't know my own, so I have no excuses. I've already learnt one language, I can do it for my own. I began learning the reo, watching uh, baby shows. I watched all the episodes of Takaro Tribe and I bought a grammar book and after that I started watching all the episodes of Waka Huya just so that I could listen to people who were in matatau and te reo. And I just began to try and imitate what they would say and how they would sound. So one part that I've loved about Te Pikitanga for about a year, I had a lot of questions. I wasn't completely sure that what I was saying was correct. <laughs> and so the awesome thing about Te Pikitanga, I would come to my teachers with all of these questions like, this is what I have been saying, is this right? And they'll say, oh no, not quite, change that here, change that there. And so that was really, really helpful. I tēnei tau i tūau hei tūmaki mō ngā tauira Māori roto i te kura haora. Nā, ko tētahi o aku mahi i tēnei tau i whakarite ai au he karaihe mō ngā tauira i roto i te kura haora kia ako ai rātou i te reo. We weren't too sure, to be honest, about what the reaction would be, but we showed up to the club's day, you know, set up our, our table and had our sign-up paper there, and there was a real desire for the reo um, within the medical school, which was awesome to see, and um, we found a tutor, we hired out the lecture theatres and we went ahead with it. I think the hardest part for learning te reo with me was the fear of mistakes <laughs> and the shame that comes, you know, like when you try and use te reo and then like the person's looking at you all confused and you're like, oh shucks, what did I say? So that's been that being just brave enough to call it on Māori and then if it goes down the toilet and you know, so be it, learn from that experience and pick yourself up, move on, keep going. You know, mate here, kaako. You know, from your mistakes, you learn, and um, that's probably been the most difficult thing: getting over that fear.